is millions of Americans heading home for the holidays today, some of them taking to the skies to get to those destinations. And Western Mass News reporter Wesley Days has those details and a live look at one of the busiest spots in our area, Bradley International Airport. How are things looking over there, Wesley? You know, David, it's funny because in our the top of this hour, I did say these travelers may have gotten the biggest Christmas gift of all. I mean, look at this right now. I mean, there's no line. There's no one in a TSA checkpoint line. There's no backup. If you're going through some of these airports or airlines, I mean, there's no line to even check in at this point. I mean, it's the best case scenario. Now, let's talk about it for a moment. The Connecticut Airport Authority says that they're expecting 90,000, more than 90,000 passengers to make their way through these terminals within the 10-day Thanksgiving period. Now, that started on November 17th, and then it's going to end a couple of days after we leave that Thanksgiving table on November 26th. Now, we're going to break that down even further. Just because it's a 10-day period doesn't mean that there's not daily construction or chaos, rather, here at these airports. Now, the CAA talks about daily peak periods. Now, we just finished one now that we're past 7 o'clock. It started at 4 a.m. and ended right at 7 a.m., even if you wanted to call it a peak period, because it was more of the same for most of the time that we've been here at Bradley International. Now, there's another peak period coming up in just a little while later on in the afternoon from 3 p.m to 5 p.m. and we'll give you a better glimpse of what's going on in a little while when it comes to that. Now, Western Mass News is hearing from Mark Shieldrop. He's a spokesperson for AAA. He's telling us that even though there is not that much going on here at the airport, it never hurts to stay in the know before you go. He's telling us that we should download our airline apps just to stay informed in case of the worst case scenario. At least gives you a little bit extra time to maybe find other accommodations or make adjustments. Uh, so definitely sign up for those alerts. You can sign up for text alerts as well. But that's a that's a key thing to remember. Now let's take our eyes from the skies and put them on those roads. Now my friend Matt was just talking about how it's kind of slick outside, right? There's some rain going on. We're seeing the rainfall even here in Connecticut. It's kind of pouring outside at this point, but we're seeing that wet weather on the roads. And Mark adds that being mindful about driving doesn't start when we get on the highway, wherever we're going this Thanksgiving, but rather it starts right in our very own driveways. When there's snow on the road, or ice or slush or anything uh, along those lines is we have to reduce our speeds. We have to drive a little bit slower to give ourselves more time to react if something happens.